Hello and welcome. So let's play Ellsworth Part 1. This is a online MMO. And it's pretty awesome, you know? Let me log into my account and show you guys what this is all about. It's pretty awesome. Like it's a beat em up. It's kinda it kinda reminds me of Mega Man, but it has like a like a like a hack sign feel to it, like. I don't know if you guys know that game, but this is pretty awesome. Thanks to Killer Combo for making this. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. Huh? Okay. Sorry about that, folks. That was my grandma. God bless her heart. I really love her. Thank God that she's still with me. But pretty much, we're gonna go over here and show you what kind of characters we can make. You have ambitious elves with. He's a male, he's 13 years old. His weapon is a great sword. His characteristics, he was trained to use the great sword at a young age and exiled above all. His fighting techniques provide great balance and speed and strength that cannot be taken lightly. His personality, he's more of an ambitious type character, you know, I, I mean, look at his stance. Like, you see how he's at, he doesn't really have a formal stance or anything like that. But yeah, he's pretty much a cool character. And his background, his sister was the leader of the Red Knights since they were kids. She realistically trained him to become one of the Red Knights. However, she soon left Elwood to pursue greater missions from the Red Knights. Elwood wanted his sister to recognize him as a strong warrior and soon joined the Kingdom El Search Party. But yeah, that's pretty much that. Everybody has their own unique background. They pretty, it has some pretty cool characters and pretty neat as shit. Like, seriously. I was thinking about after I uh, finished one of my uh, guys, I would try and play with one of these other characters. Tell me what you guys think. It's pretty awesome though. That's the character that I'm playing with right there. And then yes, your characters are fully customizable through loot that you get through games and uh, fighting through dungeons. But yeah, we're going to go over here to my character Lance Hatchet and we're going to start the game as soon as I can figure out. Hold on. Yeah, sorry about that. Had to scratch my ear. But yeah, let's do it. Now we're in the suburbs of the Elder Village. You can play dungeons in this area. So I'm going to go to a quest, a recent quest, and it says Bat King, Bathy's Cave, Hard to Hide. So I have to go up here and change the difficulty to hard. And then I'll create a party or I'll wait to join the party. Let me see if I can join someone's party and show you guys some group play starting out. Because it's pretty cool. You can play with a lot of people on the same map. But that's another thing. So yeah, let's just hope this really works. I mean, I'm ready and he's ready, so here we go. There's two of us, and we're going in. Let's see how this turns out, folks. Here we go. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, take that. I live for this. <laughs> Where you going, bub? Yeah, but pretty much the combat is real simple. Like, you have a loadout of your powers that you can use. And they're real awesome, know what I mean? Because, like... They're like super, they're like super moves in Street Fighter or something like that. They're like hyper combos and stuff like that, like blasts and rush techniques. Like you're gonna see a couple of them in a second because I'm gonna display some. But I mean, I I really like beating the crap out of everybody. Come on, punk! Hit me with your best shot. That's all you got. <laughs> all right, we're gonna take this guy out, kick his ass. Let the other guy handle him. I'm gonna go up there and kick these guys' asses. Yeah, I just did one of my powers. I shook the ground and he did his rush technique. And when you get to the end of each uh, part of the dungeon, you have to rip the door open to go to the next part. We got a couple of more stages to go before we get to the boss. So we're gonna kick these guys' asses and we're really gonna we're gonna take this thing head on by the fucking horns. I really like the design of the character, though, because I mean that really would reflect on me in a in a manga if I was really in one. 
Yeah, we're pretty much kicking ass right now, even though we have the same character. I mean, it's just that awesome. You know, here we are coming up to the next part. We have one of these big ass giant Foru. Well, Foru, I think that's what they're called, but they're pretty darn weak. I'm a level 13 already in this video. I mean, I've been playing off camera and farming, so I'll probably be a more, more higher level the next time you see another video, but that's that's different. But yeah, let's get these two guys up here. I, I can't really get the platforming yet like I want to, but the platforming is pretty easy. You know, I'm just so used to the beating up and playing DC Universe a lot, which I will say is coming along fine. Illusiono is a level. 22 and he is soon to be a level 30 and you guys will see his fin how he finally changed into the great hero that he is today now I will let you know I changed some things and let's just say he looks different and there's a more there's a backstory that I really want to introduce to you all and that'll be here soon but let's keep kicking ass Oh, we're to the Bat King. This is our objective. We have to kill this thing. So let's kick this thing's ass. It doesn't really stand a chance against us because we're just jumping the shit out of it. So pretty much we completed this quest. Now we're on our way to the boss after this. And that's going to be pretty fun because I like fighting him. And I did a little special mix for you guys. I hope you all like it. He didn't stand a chance. I pretty did I did a pretty good load out here. I was go down here and complete this quest and get my reward. skill points to spend. I'm going to go over here to my inventory, open up my character. Now right, yeah, these shorts are pretty awesome. I can't wait till I get some more gear though. But thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time. Part 2, where I continue my quest to become number 1.